eight-year-old neighbors Darren Bruff and Natalie Jackson don't realize that their childhood days are numbered, <laughs> that their purpose on this planet is to reproduce and pass on their genes. <laughs> but their immature bodies aren't yet up to the task. Deep in Natalie's abdomen are her ovaries. Inside, her blood feeds half a million spherical cocoons called follicles. Hidden within each follicle is an immature egg. But for now, they're in suspended animation. In Darren's testicles, Nothing much is happening either. Though there are millions of cells, there are no signs of sperm. The cells destined to create them lie dormant. <laughs> Natalie's and Darren's sex organs are waiting for a signal that will bring them to life. A signal that will trigger puberty. Puberty begins years before there are any outward signs. No one knows why, but it always starts at night. Driven by the body's command center, the brain. Deep in Darren's brain, a group of cells is activated. For the first time ever, the cells release a chemical signal into the tiny blood vessels around them. Hormones known as gonadotrophins fly through his blood. These chemical messengers carry signals from Darren's brain to the rest of his body. Night after night, the hormones flood into his bloodstream and begin to take effect. Inside his testicles, cells begin to divide. They organize themselves into tubes, building factories which will one day produce sperm. As the years pass, Darren's brain steps up the pace. the signal gets stronger. And the changes taking place in Darren's testicles get faster and faster. Between the newly grown tubes, gonadotrophins seep out and soak into specialized cells, triggering them to produce the male sex hormone. Its name, testosterone. Mom! By the time Darren is 13, Come on up. he has amassed enough testosterone to begin to change his boy's body into the body of a man. The changes in Darren mean he'll soon be able to reproduce. But to be a mature adult, he also has to want to. Inside his brain, testosterone seeps from blood vessels into the fluid which surrounds his brain cells. Soon, it will transform his mind. Next. Nate? Natasha Watson, sir. What's I doing here? Do you know we'll just have to wait till they're finished? Mm. Natasha, you know David Blaine? He's reading Romeo. 
Right, off you go, David. Yo, yo, yo's what I've got to get is Mickey D with my Juliet. Oh, Romeo, oh, but we hit a snag. Why does Montague have to be your tag? Next. Inside Darren's brain, testosterone now soaks through the membranes of dormant cells, triggering a chemical reaction. The testosterone brings to life a group of interconnected brain cells. This is Darren's reproductive circuit. It gives him the desire for sex. Right, let's try some singing. Name? Ashley Jackson, sir. The worst mistake I ever made was not to ask him where he played. Maybe Darren has something new to cope with. A sex drive. And the girl next door has become the woman of his dreams. That much good and this much bad. It's the only name I ever had. But for you, my love, I would change it now. Just click on my heart and find out how. And this one, you've got to try this one. It's got a tangy smell, and I'm sure that will smell lovely. This one's lovely on as well. I have a smell of that. It's yeah. wonderful, quite refreshing. And what about this one? Now, this one's much nicer. It's much Over the lower. past five years, Natalie's brain has been just as active as Darren's. I've got to try this one. <laughs> But while gonadotrophins transform his testicles, they bring to life her ovaries. The hormone has stimulated a few of the follicles to grow so that the eggs concealed inside them begin to mature. As the follicle wall grows and swells, a new hormone seeps out. The female sex hormone, estrogen, It flows out of the follicles into her blood. Estrogen will drive Natalie's transformation into a sexually mature woman. Don't worry about it, it looks very nice. And as you can see, it's very subtle. Now also we can show you a nice color. All that other that would look really Mm, that's gorgeous. It's like David Blaine. <laughs> yeah, he might be gorgeous, but he can't sing. So? So it's meant to be a musical. But you get to snog the best-looking bloke in school. Yeah. But... Oh, yeah, but nothing. Forget about his singing once you start kissing. Are you wearing perfume? Inside Natalie's brain, estrogen is making permanent changes. Inactive areas of her brain are coming to life. This is probably because the hormones stimulate nerve endings, encouraging them to form new connections. These new circuits fire powerful new emotions. I'm getting a tattoo. You, you are, are not. not. I might have known. Known what? You automatically say no. No, 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 no. Are Natalie's sure feelings are suddenly no? much stronger. But she hasn't yet learned how to control them. No. You never let me do what I want. You are so predictable. No, we're not. Calm down, dear. I don't even know why you had me in the first place. And while Natalie must learn to live with estrogen, Darren is in the grip of testosterone. Darren, what are you doing? Uh, uh. Darren is trying to cope with a brain that wants sex. Uh, but a bit of gardening. Why? What are you doing? Having supper. 
Outside? My dad went mental. I told him I was getting a tattoo. You're getting a tattoo? Where? Well, either here or here. What do you think? His reproductive circuit is interfering with his ability to hold a conversation, leaving him tongue-tied. I'm paying you to get in the school play. I was there for the auditions. Doing what? Waiting for band practice. Oh, right. I'm going to be in the play as well. I didn't know you into drama. Mr. Parsifal, he wanted an engineer. A what? Someone who hasn't done it before. Like a virgin? Yeah. I suppose it's at rehearsals then? Yeah. Like all men, Darren's hormone levels soar at night. As testosterone rises, his reproductive circuit goes into overdrive. And even takes control of his dreams. Next. So we just sort of where you want it. I don't know. What do you think? Now his reproductive circuit is so overstimulated, it sends a signal down his spine to his penis. His penis is constructed of interconnected caverns. Blood rushes in, filling the caverns and making them expand. Darren's penis has swollen to five times its normal size. It's after eight. Bye, Mum. Oh, hi. Hi. Natalie started puberty later than Darren but she is growing much faster than him and looks more mature. All thanks to estrogen. When estrogen in her body reached a critical level, it triggered a growth spurt. Since then, special plates in her bones have been growing rapidly. To catch up with Natalie, Darren needs his own supply of estrogen. His brain has a remarkable way to manufacture the hormone. It converts excess testosterone into estrogen. Sadly for Darren, it takes time for estrogen to build up, which is why boys seem to mature more slowly than girls, and 